go. There is downtown New Orleans, Louisiana, right there. And had New Orleans, Louisiana. We're 38 miles. No, we're 47 miles away from where we're going. Is that right? 38 miles or 47 minutes. I don't know which. I think, yeah, 37 miles away from where we're going. We have a light run in 31 miles of fuel left in our fuel tank. We uh, pulled into a station back there to buy some gas. Their bathrooms wasn't working, so we decided we were going to buy a gas there. So now we're going to run out of gas. Go to the bathroom on the side of the road. <laughs> I hope not. We have 31 miles left. If you have 31 miles, don't worry about it, right? We're getting ready to go by Caesar's Superdome down here in downtown New Orleans. You know, Sherry and Jack come down here to a medical convention that Jack speaks at every year uh, in his job as a doctor. And they just have a blast here in New Orleans. They have so much fun. They love all the great food and the great restaurants and everything. It's just absolutely fantastic. We're going to hit Highway 90 here, going, uh, you know what, we don't want to get off this thing, we want to keep on going. We do not want to get off and see the Superdome. We're going to see the Superdome from right here. That's plenty good enough right there, see the Superdome from right here. Downtown New Orleans, LA, yeah, that's it, buddy. Oh, look at that guy cut in there like that. Well, he didn't miss me very much. We're going down here to uh, Woodlands Plantation, which is an incredibly beautiful place down here. The cabin we're going to be staying in is 200 years old. That's as old as Roland Martin, who is, by golly, who we're meeting down there. We're meeting Roland Martin. Roland and I are going to do some red fishing. Uh, we got Eddie as the guide that's going to help us out a little bit and kind of steer us in the right direction. Walt Reynolds. Roland's manager is with him, and we're meeting Mike Weisscarver. Mike set all this up for us. Mike is a great friend. He owns Booyah Clean, which is uh, the only EPA-approved boat cleaner that you can wash your boat right at the marina and let, the, let, it go, let it, everything go down in the water. It's environmentally safe, absolutely the only boat cleaner to use in cleaning your boats, no doubt about that. But we're going to have a great time. We're going to fish Monday and Tuesday, maybe even Wednesday morning. And then head on over toward Lake Charles, Louisiana, which is going back east, not as far as you can go. And uh, fish grow some on for bass for a couple of days, but hopefully we're going to catch some of these big old bull reds down here. I sure hope so. Look at the rainbow. Hey, look at the rainbow. And look at the, 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 at the end of that rainbow is a pot of gold. It's a building worth about $50 million. <laughs> That's a pretty big pot of gold, I would say. Yeah. Go boys and girls across the big bridge. The big bridge here in the east side of uh, Louisiana. About another mile. We're gonna be hanging a right exit 9A. Heading south down to Delacro. I'm gonna fish at Delacro. Look at that river out there, will you? That's a big bunch of water. Look at all those barges out there. It's sprinkling on us. That's why we saw that little bit of rainbow back there. Wasn't really a lot of rainbow, just a little rainbow. This is this is this is amazing architecture. This is why people love America. We got things here that they don't have in a lot of other places around the world. Some some places got things like this, but not many. I'm looking for exit 9A, three quarter mile. That's what we're going to take. We're going to ease over there on that side. Look, 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 look at that at that cemetery. They can't bury the people under the ground. Those people are all buried above ground. You see all of that? Oh, that's a big cemetery. That's when the water, this thing is like below sea level. So that's below sea level. So all the cemeteries down here are like that one down there. Okay. It's off the highway a little bit. Today. Okay, so I can see, I'll be able to see Roland's truck and boat from the highway probably then? Yeah, it's probably about a couple hundred yards back. Okay, but, uh, okay. so we go yeah. down, turn around. Come back, okay. Yeah, uh, Walt says there's a microwave tower uh, right there. You can't miss it. Okay. And then you'll see his boat, and then we'll just come down and, you, and what do you think? You just see the back end where we're at? Or, you know, yeah, I think you might need to back end because there's not a lot of room to turn around where. Yeah, 683 miles to go to church. Look at here. We got a church around here. Who's preaching tonight? It's Roland preaching. I'm gonna lead the I'm gonna lead the song service. How you doing, my brother? Doing good, Mike. What's up, Pat? How you doing, buddy? How are you? Walter. What do you think, Walt? 
Oh, thanks, buddy. What you doing, son? Oh, Pleasure, God, Eddie. Pat Turner, Eddie. Nice to meet you. Hey, Roland. Hey, hey, are you Eddie? Eddie? I'm Eddie. Hey, Eddie, good to I'm meet you, man. You good doing? to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> Reckon we can catch a redfish? We're bass fishing. We're bass fishing. Yeah. But Roland's, a, Roland's right one rookie of the year. Yeah, 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 you, you, know, you know, when I, when I Those are when, turkeys. Those are not <laughs> redfish. When, when, I, went, when I, I called Brent Royce, oh, I said, I'm not going to work with Brent. This is what he did. I want to show you this. Brent Roy is pretty good veteran. Sounds good. Give me a shot when you're in come try to beat up for dinner. Eddie is the best redfish guy in Louisiana. That's what Ben said. And then he said, Scott and I both fished against Eddie in that redfish tournament at Port Aransas. He beat everybody's tail. I ought to call Brent. Give us some more advice. Good. Well, you know, Roland uh, fished in redfish tournaments. No, that was he, fun. That was fun he, a, yeah. a few years ago, a few years ago, uh, he teamed up down there in Florida, and him and his buddy of his, it was like two, two, or, three, or, two or three years <laughs> old, older than he was. Roland was like at that time was like seventy nine or eighty, yeah. seventy eight, seventy nine, something like that. His other guy was like eighty two or eighty three, and they fished the entire year. And they won rookies, rookie of the year. They they they, they beat everybody out. They didn't win eight of the year. They won rookie of the year. And they they were total like 160 years old for rookie of the year. And all those kids are going what? <laughs> but they've never fished redfish tournaments right. before. So that's pretty you know, good. You know what really. I like about the redfish tournament? We've all been competitive. Right. And Jimmy and I will know. There's a lot of guys like Kevin Van Dam, for example. Yeah. You ask him about. Working with you, well, he's very closed mouth, okay? But he's he's his own man, and but yet with the with the redfish guys, all the uh, the Watts brothers and all the yeah. guys that were really good, they'd help you out. They'd say, hey, Roland, you need some fish, you know, you need some lures, you know, you do this, that, and other. It was so much cooperation and so much camaraderie in yeah. the redfish tour, way better than bass, way better than bass. Yeah, well, bass is closed mouth. Everybody wanted to keep their the, keep the their problem. The the, yeah. the the bass guys will tell you. The bass guys will tell you all the what's going on too but they're lying <laughs> they'll tell you oh yeah Roland. let me tell you what you know i caught him out there today i found me a, a little point out there you know you find you a point it drops off about about 10 12 foot don't get it where it drops off deeper than that and uh, and I, I'm, I'm catching them on a on a, on a deep deep uh, lucky strike deep crankbait in a shad color <laughs> this is a lot of and so it's just bull they ain't, they, they ain't even they ain't even fished a point dropping off to 10 or 12 feet they're just lying to you